Hello, this video is going to be a lot similar to a video that I did before about getting better by yourself and practicing by yourself because I think that it, there is a lot of value to maybe some of the videos that I do outside of really like instructional stuff that focuses on just trying to like teach you how to give a speech or ideas that you should have for a speech. This video, I specifically want to talk about debate camp and things that I think you can do to get better at debate camp or maybe even if you're trying to like figure out what you should do for yourself over the summer specifically. I think that this video is a little bit different because I think the summertime specifically is like a block of time that you have is like a lot different from when you're in school and debating and stuff like that and gives you like maybe a lot more time to like really dedicate yourself to like getting better and stuff like that and so I really want to talk about um debate camp as a whole and hopefully some of the tips will kind of spill over into the ways that you think about getting better on your own time but I think that a lot of people especially people that don't have a lot of experience going to camp or people that whose only experience to camp is really going to debate camp online can maybe benefit from trying to figure out like what the point of it is and like what the value of it is in terms of of what types of goals and things you should be doing to kind of get better beyond just like showing up and like going to everything that you do and finding out like how you can really put effort in ways that like give you a lot of value I think that overall debate camp is really about filling holes in places where you are uncomfortable and getting new new experiences to better your argumentation usually the way that I think about it is that with camp you get out what you put in and so if you put an effort into the arguments you're making and want to get better you have like a lot of time to develop and there's a lot of time to really lock in and focus on the things that you want to get really good at i think that take it's all about like taking the things that you learn in lab and applying them to practice you have outside of lab or practice that you make for yourself which is really essential and something that you should be thinking about as you learn different things along the way you should consider the things that you're kind of being taught in lab the things that people are kind of going over with everyone as kind of like fundamentals that are applicable to any argument that you make or that you may face in the future and so it's really about getting a familiarity with like the ways that people that are really experienced with the activity have been doing it for a long time think about some of the fundamental things that you can do in a debate to just like get yourself better in the types of strategical holes that you can fill for yourselves and so this video i wanted to talk about just some tips i had in general in terms of trying to get better at camp and the things and types of objectives that i tried to set for myself when like i was going to camp and stuff and the way that like it became transformative for me so the first thing is that when you go to camp i think like notes are incredibly important and i think every person that's like been a lab either or that like has really felt like to be a camp has really developed them the first thing that they'll talk about probably Probably is being able to have notes just having a place where you take notes is incredibly important and creating a kind of like personalized system can be really helpful for allowing information to really sit in your mind beyond just the lectures that you're having obviously you may be able to take in a lot of what your lab leaders are saying from just being able to like listen to them and everyone does think differently but I think having just some type of way of being able to jot down really important stuff or even ideas that make you um think about something or so that you can connect to another idea that you're having in debate can be like really important for being able to really get full value of it and then being able to use it once you leave camp i think that like obviously once you leave debate camp you'll still have like you know sections of your summer summer left or you'll be starting on school which means that like you won't be able to like go back maybe and give your full time to like doing debate for the rest of the summer for the start of your semester but having the notes kind of gives you somewhere to return somewhere familiarity that you can use beyond just like your camp experience the other thing that I think is really important for camp is speaking journals in general. I think that they are something that you will generally do a lot at most camps. And I think that something that like may get annoying because you do it so much. But I think taking extra time even outside of the time that you spend speaking in a lab is like really useful for being able to like specialize your style of speaking in a way that suits your needs. And you can also like really focus in on the types of drills that help you learn. Talking to your lab leader about the specific types of speaking drills that could help you uh, can be really helpful for this because you're kind of like in lab once again you should kind of think about it as and a lot of stuff is being taught to kind of like help everyone and so the way that you can kind of like turn that into something that really helps and develops your skills and the needs that you have specifically is just kind of like for instance being able to identify the types of things that you think you struggle with when it comes to speaking whether it's your speed whether it's your clarity whether it's your ability to keep a rhythm and being able to read consistently without like stopping and starting like all these things are like ways that you can uh, take notice of what's happening when you do drills often like when you're in lab and then when you're outside of that I think being able to spend time before or after your lab giving yourself more time to speak and to do things that are really specialized in making you sound um, better and be able to kind of like hit those different goals can be really helpful in terms of you just developing as a speaker overall because when you're doing things like speaking drills they're not just helpful because they 
allow you to kind of like learn uh, how to just like read evidence, but they're also useful because they help you think about how you use your voice as a speaker over, overall and the different ways that your voice is affected by different types of things that you do and the way that you speak, which can give you a lot more familiarity when you're trying to read outside of like an evidence context and is overall just like really good practice for just like get, becoming better as a speaker as a whole. I think the next thing I'll say is that you should always try to make a relationship with your lab leader. You should remember that your lab leaders are people and that building relationships with them can help you develop significantly but also that uh those that they aren't just people that are there to like work for you or to like do work for you but there are people to kind of help you and aid you in your development and the things that you're learning over the summer and so i think that being able to like use time of like one-on-one -on -one time that you may have with your lab leader to do things like rebuttal redos and making the best of your time just working one-on-one -on -one with them is essential to getting like a really well-developed perspective on your development and the way that you can get yourself to uh, better as a whole lab leaders are people that in some way or another have maybe been in the situations where I have had similar um things that they need to get better at in terms of debating and so they can really help you develop like really unique stuff that can help you in particular and I think making the most out of building a positive relationship to them by showing kind of effort and putting in effort to the getting better as the camp as a whole it can really help you kind of like get a lot of additional ideas and practice that you can develop and take outside of the stuff that you're immediately learning at camp. The last thing I'll kind of say is that I think that you should always try new things at camp. Getting really good at what you do is important but trying new things can help you learn a lot about different forms of debate which can help you beat those arguments or make those arguments dynamic and include them in your own way. Being able to understand different perspectives and different styles of debating can help you beat or uh, debate in those styles or combine them in ways that are like really unique for you. And I think being able to get like a well-developed understanding of all the different styles and ways that people come into debating and the way that debating is developed is extremely useful in order to get a well-rounded perspective about how different arguments interact and can give you a lot more foresight into how you should be thinking about arguments argumentation throughout different types of resolutions and the way that different arguments become popular. Using practice debates to do things you aren't used to can give you a much better vision of the type of arguments that you like and the ones that you are really good at. I think that practice debates in CAM are like extremely useful because there's like no punishment for like making whatever type of argument that you want and so I think that you should be able to just try to different arguments that are outside of the things that you do now or maybe something that you see as popular that isn't something that you do and to try it out because I think when you debate from a certain perspective or when you take on that perspective it can help you develop your responses to it and it can give you a different type of um, kind of like headspace when you're thinking about debating that argument from the other side which means that learning it, it becomes essential to being able to get familiar with the literature base and to be able to just give you a much more well-rounded perspective of debate as a whole. Hopefully this video is helpful in terms of giving you ideas uh, about what you should be thinking about over the summer, what you should be thinking about at the big camp, and hopefully it can kind of help you set objectives and goals for yourself that you'll be able to reach throughout the big camp. Good luck.